Good evening, everyone. I'm Penny, president of Whitney Art, LLC. We are coming to you live from beautiful downtown Macon in Central City Park. This is one of our favorite parks. We've been down here before. We've painted the gazebo, which you can see in the background, or Whitney calls the bandstand. All right, same thing, right? Um, but it's in the background. I'm taking the top off the paint. This is a special moment. <laughs> so this is a new tube of white paint. Thank you. Thank you, Paula. And um, there you go. Nice. I'll be using this in the sky. <laughs> it's beautiful. So as I was saying, we um, painted the gazebo before. This is a different perspective of the park. What this is down here is a little seating area, which is just gorgeous. Um, we have benches. We have a couple of bird baths. We have a nice trellis over here. If you're really quiet, occasionally you can hear the birds chirping. Then they're not chirping right now. But you can hear the birds chirping out here. It's just absolutely gorgeous. So we are going to paint this perspective. It's a very peaceful, very um, calming. Love it. I think this might be one of my favorite ones, if not my favorite one, which I think I said that last week, but saying it again. So Whitney, let's get started on your painting. Yeah, I'm just wiping off some of this graphite and um, getting the, the, the canvas wet a little bit I didn't take it out last time like this mm -hmm. and left a little white spot that I'll go get it over there and do it I like to do it while I'm actually painting it so that I can uh, I won't have to do it later I'm about I like to try to find the best ways to do things and I like what I've decided to do with this sky is it's got a red it has a red to it, it a, red a red tint in it. Mm -hmm. so i'm gonna use my red shade up here so so that doesn't look red that looks blue right <laughs> <laughs> So how are we going to get red out of this? Well, there's red in the blue. Oh, I see. And what happens is there's three colors, red, orange, red, and yellow, and blue. Oh, no. Uh oh. Now it's on the ground. We got it all over the ground. I don't think you can use that. Oh, no. <laughs> Well, we'll get it later, and yeah, we'll pick it up. <laughs> that's okay. That's the fun part about now I can step all in it. <laughs> Hopefully, I won't step all in it. Yep. Right. We'll work with it. I guess what we'll do. So we'll see. <laughs> These are where you can see through the trees, right here. Let real me white. turn this over to you real quick. Real white. Right, I'm gonna put it on. I do. Good job. Thank you. I think we're getting better. I think so. But I don't I really don't want to spend too much time with the sky right now because this it, there's a lot to lot, there's a lot to this one and I want to get to some of the more some of the fun parts. But I do want to get the sky as wonderful as it can be and it is lovely today look at that Whew. it's beautiful and if you can get the clouds to come in like this it gives it more of a the balanced part that I'm talking about later that I will so I can always come back and put some more sky in there but I want to try to go ahead and get it in while I'm while I've got it down to the line there's some trees on the side 
so nice out here. You can hear the birds singing. Beautiful. Love it. Love it. And yep, I'm stepping all in the paint. So we'll clean that up. And we like to leave anywhere better than we left it. Any of you, any of you guys, uh, Boy Scouts, know we, if whenever we go camping, we like to leave the area better than we found it. In that case, we come prepared and we brought a couple of trash bags that we're gonna pick up some of this trash over here and take it out of the park. So we wanna do our part and we um, er, reckon, urge, encourage you, we'll encourage you anywhere you go in Macon. If it's beautiful, if you don't mind picking up trash. Let's keep it beautiful. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I don't mind picking up trash. I don't feel like it's, it's that hard to do. But sometimes we don't, I'm not, I wouldn't say that, I will, I, of course, we're, nobody would say that you have to do anything. And it would, if you only, only if you really feel like that you, you can do that and you don't mind. Because if you feel like there might be something on it, like some germs, then don't touch it, right? If you feel like there's germs on something, don't touch it. Absolutely. <laughs> kind of goes along with today's culture of carrying uh, Honey, when I was in the sanitizer everywhere you go. When I was in the Navy, we had to go through a line, and I got like 10 shots on this arm and 10 shots on this arm. Oh, my goodness. Because I, I had overseas duty. Oh, wow. I was inoculated for just about anything you can imagine. Yeah. Okay, so I love the skies and I get lost sometimes in the sky. I just want to keep, oh, it's gorgeous sky. Look at this, did you see the sky? Beautiful. Get some of that. I might try the sponge today. Hey, so while we got the, um, while we got this, I usually I like to start out with my, with the dark, with the darks. I've already got an ultra, I already got my red shade in there, so I want to go with the green. So I'll put the green over here separate. And yeah, it looks blue mm -hmm. because main, most of it is blue, but it has a green tint, green shade to it, so it has more green in it than purple or red, more red. <laughs> which is red, which red and blue kind of makes purple. So here we have, I'm going to use two brushes today, maybe, and I'll start with, who knows, <laughs> I don't, I, I like to not really plan this so that I can see the process because I love to learn new things and I like to experiment and I have a general idea of what I want to do and where I want to go with it. So. Where am I spray bottle? Over here. This is what I will call. So if anyone out there has any the inspiring on, stories of, of um, Central City Park, or if you have any funny stories or any, um, uh, any cute stories of Central City Park, this is a great time to tell us. I'm over here monitoring the camera um, and monitoring Whitney, um, part of presidential duties, and making sure everything is going all right. So, if you do have a comment, please go ahead and put it in the comment bar, and I will be checking on them in just a moment. So, Whitney, do you have a favorite memory of Central City Park? Oh man, well, you know, used to put the catch the tadpoles in the pond, and there's been concerts out here. Oh wow. So Central City Park is just full of full of stories here. So do you what have you, one in mind? What'd you do with the tadpole? Oh, we just put him back in the pond. <laughs> we would look at just look at him and put him back in the pond. So I have a Central City Central City Park story. We just started dating and he wanted to make a good impression on me and I wanted to have, have, have fun going to the Cherry Blossom Festival because I had never been to the Cherry Blossom Festival before. I'm from Atlanta originally, so 
I didn't even know what the Cherry Blossom Festival was. Now I do and I absolutely love it. So much fun. Can't wait for it to come back. So I love riding rides. I absolutely love riding on rides. I am like a little kid inside. I'm really 14. I, I'm not who I appeared to be. And as soon as I saw these rides, I knew I was I was so excited. I was so happy that we were gonna we were gonna do this. For me, the hold on, honey, because this is I, I know you told this story yesterday. A couple days ago, yeah. Oh, a couple days ago, but it's pretty good. It's a good one. Thank you. Oh yeah. So and I'll tell you later about my um, story from from school. Okay. Maybe I don't know. Okay. Okay. So, as I was saying, um, we came down to Central City Park when the Cherry, Cherry Blossom Festival was going on, and there were rides everywhere, 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 all kinds of different rides. Ferris wheels, really nice, mellow kind of ride, a Ferris wheel ride, you know, uh, roller coaster rides. Um, there was one that I saw that I fell in love with. I just had to do this ride. It was called the Barracuda. Now, the Barracuda can be an intimidating kind of sounding name, right? Cuda. So we awesome. de deemed it the Cuda, you know, that's how it was deemed. So I see this ride and Whitney had just bought a ton of tickets because we knew we were going to be riding everything, at least once, if not twice, we were going to ride everything that there was in the park. And my eyes are this big. I'm just so excited over this, this Barracuda ride. He says, are you sure you want to do this? I said, yes, of course I want to do this. The, the crazier, the better, yes. This ride went in a circle, kind of like a, instead of going straight up and down like a Ferris wheel, it went kind of sideways. And then the cars individually spun around <laughs> along with going around like this, you're also spinning in the car. Fun, absolutely fun. I had taken my Dramamine, so I was completely prepared for some fun and games at, at the carnival down here. It was amazing so we're standing in line and as we're standing in line there's there's a fairly long, long line um, we see people coming off and people are coming off and there was a good amount of people that were coming off and going off and getting sick after being on this ride you would think my adult brain would say probably not a good scene for me to be in it really probably is it not 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 currently it's not you know at, at this stage in life it's probably not a good idea to ride something called the barracuda but i had to do it i mean oh my gosh that just made it even even better the fact that these these kids were getting off this 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 ride and getting sick i thought you know what, I'm gonna show them how to ride this ride. I'm gonna show these people how to ride this ride without getting sick. I'm gonna be perfectly fine, I'm not gonna have any problems. So, like I said, I took my Dramamine, so I was prepared. So I went and uh, was the, the ride with the, the rotation before I got on, when those people got off, the man running the ride had to go get a hose and hose down the ride from where people were getting sick on this ride. Well, Whitney is saying, you don't have to do this. Yes, I do. You have nothing to prove. Yes, I do. I, I do, I have a lot to prove. Apparently, I had a lot to prove. So next thing you know, I'm on we this- We were on a date. We were on a date. I wanted to impress me. I wanted to impress you, right. I mean, you had impressed me by buying a bunch of tickets to go on all these rides, so I wanted to impress you by showing I had the stomach to go on all these rides. <laughs> so, <was> so funny. <laughs> you can imagine what happened, but I get on the ride. I remember the song that was playing when I was on the ride. It was Sail by AWOL Nation. That's how vivid this memory is. So I'm on this ride. I'm all excited and this, there's this little girl who sat beside me I mean, she couldn't have been eight years old and I said are you excited and she shook her head I said you don't want to do this and she shook her head but apparently I guess her parents were making her ride this ride For some reason she she didn't want to be on the ride well I found out why so we're going going on this ride and we're slow we're coming around it's starting off nice and slow I'm good I'm good and speeds up a little bit more I'm getting mm, 
feeling a little queasy, but I'm okay. I'm still good. Coming around a little bit more, I'm like, mm, I don't know about this. Rotate around again. You know what? This probably wasn't a very good idea. Rotate around again. Oh no, I'm going to be sick. <laughs> I held it. I didn't get sick right then and there, but I tell you what, I came off that ride. I was so dizzy from riding that ride. I was so dizzy. And Whitney said, are you okay? <laughs> no, I am not okay. <laughs> so, so I go off to the, to the trees where it's real private and I start getting sick because I was not okay. I could not get my head right for the rest of the day. And we sat there, poor Whitney, all he wants to do is he wants to get a corn dog. Is that too much to ask? Well, I wanted to do a lot more than get a corn dog. You wanted to do a lot more than get a corn dog. <laughs> But unfortunately nope. for him... No, it's okay, honey. You know what I really wanted? I just wanted to be with you. And it didn't matter where we were or what we did. <laughs> See know, why I love him? You're more important than the Cherry Blossom Festival. <laughs> but we love the Cherry Blossom Festival. We love the Cherry Blossom Festival. Love it, love it, love it. So fun. But I love you more. Aw, that's sweet. So if you have a story like that or something completely different about Central City Park, let us know. We want to hear about it. Um, we'd love to hear everyone's adventures out there. So, oh, oh yeah. So let me turn it back over to Whitney for a and moment. We will. October, check the comments. October the 13th. No, honey, I'm, you're good. I, All right, I'm, I'm gonna I'm, check I'm, the comments. I'm, I'm having fun. I want to focus. I want to have more fun. Well, hey, the, um, yeah, you're good. I'm going to get into, when I get the green, this will come out. Some of that, look, I got a bug. That's okay, honey. We'll clean this up. Yeah. All right. Now, at this point, where am I at? I want to get a little bit more darks over here. I got people riding four uh, four wheelers out here. What if you, what a beautifully fun day. It's just lovely out here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I want the, I want the darks to, to I want this to dry. Mm. I want that to dry so that I can, I won't smear everywhere. But if it doesn't dry completely, it's okay. But I want it to dry so that I can get, so I can do, you know, other things. <laughs> so I can do other things. So I have a new color today I wanted to try. I mean, I'm not quite ready to try that yet. Ooh, <clears throat> that looks like a pretty color. That's the Naples yellow, mm. and I got that. I'm gonna experiment with it. Cause I love to experiment. And it's brand new too. Like the titanium white. Nice. Very love nice. Love to experiment. Love it, love it, love it. So far, what's been your favorite painting that you've drawn, that you've painted? Man, I, you know what? I, I, I'm, they're all like this one. Yeah. <laughs> they're all when I'm doing it, while I'm doing it. I'm so visual that I don't, you said, you think in thoughts. Yeah. I think in thoughts. That was my explanation to him the other you day. You think in thoughts. And I'm like, how do you how think? think? How do you think? Like, what do you do? How do you, how, <laughs> how do, do you, you process? Function? How do you function? <laughs> how do you make things make sense? <laughs> I think in thoughts. How else did you explain it? Well, because I think in pictures. <laughs> right. And so it's, we have a, sometimes we have to, uh, like, um, we learn in communication. And I wanted to be a com communications, I love communications. Mm -hmm. And to be understood is the ultimate goal of communicating. It's true. So I know that. I wanted to learn as much as I could about communicating. And I wanted to understand why often I would be misunderstood. Why is that? Because I can't express exactly what I'm seeing because mm -hmm. a picture is worth a thousand words. Yes, it is. One picture in my mind, you know, is 
hard to explain. So we've discovered a hard new to express. a new app that we like called TikTok. If y'all haven't seen it, it's pretty fun and pretty funny. We've been having a, a good time on TikTok, watching the videos that other people have been posting and then posting a couple of our own. <laughs> it's, it's pretty fun. Don't oh, you, yeah. you like that? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody should do something like that. Yeah, definitely. Or not. I don't know. I think so. <laughs> it's fun to experiment with things like that. You know, I mean, it's, it's not... It, it, <laughs> to get a little bit more blue in there even though there's no blue in there mm -hmm. like like in here look honey the little shadows and the oh, we were here a little bit before look mm -hmm. at that oh man that's beautiful that is beautiful all right so we were in here before a few minutes ago and it was just gorgeous that the that sunlight. bird bath was on fire it was glowing it was. that's why we would do this Mm -hmm. at this time of day mm -hmm. so we're going to do next week we'll do one at noon right next week's going to be a little different because of where we're going to be do you want to tell them or are we going to hold i've them? already i've already okay it, the cat it's out of that it's, it's already it's already been posted announced okay well, great well we're doing plain air again next week at the indian mounds at the indian mounds um it'll be that bridge right it's the bridge at the indian mounds and we're going to be there at noon next week because of the hours of the park. We want to respect the hours of the park. The park closes at 5. So, of course, we want to get there early enough to be able to... We're going to sketch it and paint it all on the same day. Normally, as you know, we... Yeah, we'll sketch it. But this time, we're going to do it all in one day. Like all in one day, exactly. Normally, we do a sketch yeah. on Thursday nights. And then we'll mm -hmm. go, go live and paint on Saturday nights. Well, next week we're just gonna we're gonna do the sketching and the painting all at one time, so that'll be exciting. So tune in for that. Absolutely. Is this the new titanium white? Oh, so yes, nice. yes it is. But even though I put them together like that, I'll just use this first right here because that's the closest to me. And this is going to be lighter, lighter than the other thing. These are really soft. And I noticed that you picked up a couple of leaves. Those are this one. So you look at the brown right there, I'll come back with the green after I get a little bit more white in it, white in it. Those are pretty. So I've got the dark value right here and then it as the paint gets off of the brush it gets lighter mm -hmm. right there like that until it's just like that nice wow and, he makes it look so and easy and well it's like anything honey and i'm gonna tell you can you you know you have to go to 10 years to med school to be a doctor right and you uh if you do something enough and it's easy and it's easy to begin with to begin with right then you know hey this is this is something that you can do if you if you want to do that and you spend some time doing it mm -hmm. so you would have to be something that you really want to do and this is something that i wanted to do mm -hmm. and i've always felt like i have to have a good job to be able to do this because I never thought it, that this was a legitimate job. Yeah. It's insane. Now you know it is. It's insane. <laughs> no, because I think it's just because, because of what I've been told, you know. I don't I don't want to complain about anything. Right. <laughs> I exactly. really don't. But so, so, so we're, I'm not going to do it. We're not going to. We won't do it. We won't complain. You know, we all have a past, right? We just gotta move on. But sometimes it's good to talk about it. It's good to get rid of things when you're you don't want to hold anything in. It's nice to have somebody to talk to. Yeah. And Penny, if you ever need anybody to talk to, I'm 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 telling you right now, you can always talk to me. Well, I always talk to you, so. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think there's very much I have about an open me you don't door, know. I have an open door policy with you. Yeah. Because <laughs> you, you come first. 
So I, I like I'll paint because this is so beautiful and I love it so much. I'm gonna go ahead and do the gallery wrap part. And these are gallery wrap, so all you have to do really ready to hang. We're ready Tricky. to go. And look, I got white already in in it in the foreground. But what I'll do is put the yellow. I'll put more yellow in there. And remember to those out there watching, post a comment. We'll be happy to answer any questions you have or say hello to us. Just say, hi, we're watching in Texas, wherever you may watching, be watching from. Uh, we love that. That's, that's very, very fun to see where people are, are seeing our videos from. Um, and if it's, you're watching this later, comment later and we'll be happy to, to take a look at those comments. We're always looking for ways to improve uh, like the tripod was a huge improvement on what we've been doing yeah again thank I you paula love it, love it love it and let me just say this too when the sun was hitting right here it's not bad now it, but there's no there, we, there's no sunlight and what happens is the so the sun the shadow was right here right the shadow was right here mm -hmm. and it's it was moving this way because the sun is coming from right that way right now the sun is gone right so we would have needed to start a little earlier with time starting so to catch up with us seven what happens is the sun we lose a little i mean we we don't lose anything we can either gain more darkness or mm -hmm. gain more light right so but the days are getting darker, shorter it's getting darker sooner right, right? days are so getting shorter this would be maybe wait, from five we fall back we do fall well, back fall back in? if we fall back on november so what november time, what time will it be right now if we fall back fall back will be 524 see we're gonna have to do this at like four o'clock yeah five o'clock mm -hmm. holy cow are you kidding me i agree that's i think that's a much better time anyway because it gives people time if they want to come out they they have well, time before dinner they can come out uh, they can come out you know a nice afternoon and it could be next year before really before what who knows so we're, we're going to, I don't know. I'm just going to add more white to my green here. There you go. As I go into the background. There you go. It's so a good idea. Right here, I'm going to have my green. Right there, I'm going to have my green. And you can hear me if you walk off. I know. <laughs> but maybe you can hear me. You can hear. I'm just, all I'm saying is that's where I'm putting my green. So nothing to it. I wanted to put this, this in here a little bit more. And I hope that we, I hope I get a chance to get to the gazebo. Yeah. But we'll see. Um, oh, so I was going to say the um, the Storytellers event is coming up October oh. the 13th. October 13th, That's Storytellers. That's going to be so much fun. It'll be a lot of fun. Really We've got that. some amazing talent in making. Yes, we do. Man, y'all. And we were um, actually doing a photo shoot with one today. Molly. Amazing, amazing model. Just a joy to work with. Mm -hmm. And we love the local talent here mm -hmm. in Macon. It's just brilliant. We do. It's true. It, it is brilliant. A lot of uh, musicians, um, you know, fashion, food, culture, Penny. Without culture, I, I don't even know. I don't, I don't even. I, I, don't get me started. I'm gonna make curly marks. <laughs> Again, I want to reiterate: I am extremely passionate about a lot of things that don't matter. That's true. Doesn't it really matter. Is. It doesn't matter. I can go off on it all day long. All right. Let's see what we have going on over here. This is a beautiful perspective of the park and in the background the very background there are uh, not sure if you can see it from here there are two signs there are yellow signs like street signs as indication of where not to go but behind that the point is there are train tracks so we might get a train come by tonight we're not sure we don't know the train schedule but that is a possibility that a train will come by and that will be kind of cool. I like trains. Um, I think they're, they're just, 
they have such a, a, a mystery to me for some reason. I'm not sure why, but it seems like going on a train ride would be just so, so calming. Yeah, I've done it. The repetitiveness of the train. Especially in Italy, everything is a train. You, that's how you get around. In DC too, train. Train. Like the subway. Right. Are you talking about like a train? Talking about a train like the train that would come by here. Freight train kind of. That kind of train. Different. The train that I hear in the background. That kind of train. All right, so we'll get up in here. I love watching this process. It's so fun to watch because at the beginning it seems like a lot of chaos and confusion, but he brings it all together very nicely. Um, it's, it's beautiful the way he does that. He's very talented. I think he's very talented. Of course, I'm a little biased. Thank you. And it's, it, a lot of it is just learning different techniques. A lot of it is... Madison Call waved. Hey, hey. Oh yeah, <laughs> Madison. Now I might, I kind of, I don't know if I wanted to do that, Benny. Uh oh. Let me wipe that back off. Well, you can, you can erase it, so to speak. I don't know. I kind of want to get, I want to get it, everything covered. In here before. So I don't want to run out of time today. Yeah. And I like to get lost in it sometimes. I get lost like, oh, I just want to work on this one. Yeah. But I put that in there. I don't want to do that. I want high chrome up here. So it's not everywhere. I want to do everything. I want to do it all at once. <laughs> so I have to take it slow step by step and the what happens is I'm not sure what I want to do and that's the beauty of everything comes out so different because I don't know <laughs> <laughs> it's good to sometimes just no plan I have no plan and it's beautiful I love it because that way, if I do, if I make a mistake, well, it's really not a mistake because I can do this again and I'll <laughs> see how that looks. And I'll see how that looks. One of the things we love to do is watch our videos from when we, where we've recorded before. Obviously we like to watch them just so we can see what we can do better. If y'all have any suggestions of what we can do better, we are always open to hear suggestions like here. I don't know. No, I don't I don't know if, you know, that's valid. I mean, how can you tell somebody that what they can do better? Well, you could say something like the volume isn't great or you need oh, to talk way. louder or your camera's not angled correctly or uh, we had a malfunction earlier today when we went live. We got a great gift. Or uh, if it looks like I don't know. How about if you're a, if you're a camera crew and you want to come out and be a <laughs> and donate your camera, time, we would love that. That would be fun. Absolutely. Should we tell them about earlier? What? So we received another gift today in the mail, which we were very excited about. Thank you very much, sweetie. We love it. It is a, a trophy. Whitney is a judge in an international contest with over 700 participants. Oh, that was amazing. Yeah. Penny, I'm telling you, the art that these young people are doing or so they're are, might as well i don't even i can't i'm blown away by it yeah i mean it's it, it, as good as any adult it, i mean that's just the way it is it, i mean it really is it's absolutely amazing so we so it, it really i was looking at this art with whitney and of course he he judged him yeah, but incredible. it's absolutely incredible these are kids 7 to 12 years old and then from i think 13 to 17 year old these different age groups Amazing, the kind of work that they were doing. I, I can't even imagine doing this kind of work now, and let alone when I was a little bitty. But, you know, it's, it's so we got in the mail a, a, an award for being a, a judge in the contest. 
Um, and it was mm -hmm. beautiful, absolutely beautifully done. This easel, well, the easel also was a gift uh, way back. Um, we got the tripod as a gift. We got canvases as gifts. We've got paint as gifts. We love gifts. It's so fun to get something new in the mail and say, what is this? Uh, Who is this from? The motiva you know, it helps. It, it's very encouraging. It's very encouraging. It's very encouraging. It, and it encourages us to keep, to keep doing what we're doing. Exactly. We love what we do. And we want to encourage other people. Absolutely. And that is what we are about. We are about inspiring and uplifting the world, not just having fun doing plain art, plain air, but also encouraging and uplifting, inspiring the world. That is our dream, that is our goal, and that is our mission, and that is what we are going to do. Not that we want to do it, meaning we're going to do it because we want to do it. It's a will do, will be doing, are doing. <laughs> we are, and we like to try to uplift at least one person a day. Hopefully we're inspiring you today. I hope so. And if you're an artist, if you're a painter, hey, I, I want to know how, what you think, how you feel about it. Um, is that something that you enjoy doing? Plain air? I guess. Yeah. Or, have, you know, do you feel like maybe I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if we're inspiring what anyone. What do you think? I, I, is it even a thing? You go, is it even a thing? So as I was saying, this park is, is just beautiful. The area where we're in now has so many trees and bushes that you see in the background um, just just absolutely gorgeous very serene very peaceful now we hear the birds chirping so nice love that sound I can see all the branches and I like the that. yeah, I like the texture this you're was getting. Orange. Mm-hmm. That was actually orange. And look, I'm gonna this is that little brush I'm talking about. I can put my little right there. Amazing the difference the little line makes. Just one little line. Yeah. Right. And you guys know what I'm talking about. <laughs> you guys that do portraits one little dot will change everything right one little dot changes everything that's what that's what amazes me mm -hmm. is how this one little one little dot changes it all now you see what i'm saying mm -hmm. <laughs> because you can't see actually the the bird bath but I'm just gonna suggest it mm -hmm. I'm gonna tell you about it and I'm gonna tell a story here and this is my story there's some shadow under the bird bath right mm -hmm. there. It, when I love to do this and I have time we have 20 minutes Oh wow. Yeah. So I'm a little bit further along than I thought I would be. That's good. Which is really good. Um, I wanted to look at this tree trunk, study it a little bit. Once I get into my more white now, this tree is a little bit heavier. Hey, oh. Cheryl Trexler. Hey, Cheryl. Cheryl, we're still waiting on a painting or a drawing you're supposed to do for us. Was she going to do a drawing? Yeah, or you challenged her to do a drawing, to draw a stick person. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she might have done it. She may have. If so, send it to us. 
She's probably got other things to do. She's busy. She is busy lady, yes. She's got people to inspire. That's right. Yeah. I'm gonna give you the mic and let you take over for, for a few minutes. And I'm gonna go explore the park a little bit. Why don't you, well, um, I was gonna say, you could take the camera okay. and let them, and take, a, take them on a little tour. Okay, let's go on a little tour. And look, go, uh, You can come back and then you'll see how where where how you like what what's happened so far. And so far the only red in here is the burnt umber. I can't get this out, I don't want to break it. Okay, so let me hold hold the phone. I got it. I got the phone. Alright, now you can slide it out. There we go. Okay. So we are going on a little tour of this park that I keep going on about. Here are some benches that are conveniently located next to some luscious greenery. And here we go. Here's bird bath number one we're coming up to. Also really like these I'm not sure what they're called. They look like grapes coming down. I know they're not grapes, but some kind of berry of some sort. Very pretty. Here's yet another bench for your sitting enjoyment. Oh, this is a water fountain. This isn't a bird bath. Okay. Well, I guess it could be a bird bath water fountain. And we have yet another bench. And here's the gazebo, or bandstand, whichever you prefer. It's a nice little walking trail. You just walk peacefully. The wind's blowing. It's nice. There's another beautiful building, rotunda, that's in the park. We'll have to paint that one next. And we're going back to walking our way back around to Whitney. There's the bird bath he's painting, a different view of it. Here's Whitney over there painting away. <laughs> we'll get back to him, get back to the tripod. And over here is the trellis I was talking about. Love that. I want this in the backyard, in our backyard. I want a little park like this in our backyard. <laughs> so relaxing. It'd be nice to come home to and hang out in. And we'll get back to Whitney and get back to the painting, see where, how far he has progressed. This is a great one. Love this park. Can't say that enough. If you want to say hello, please do so. We are here and we are watching while I'm monitoring the comments. Sidewalk behind the rail. This is the sidewalk right there. So that was the view of the park, of this section of the park, I should say. Bird baths, fountains, 
benches, walkway, trellis. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Whitney, I was saying when I was over there that I want this in the backyard of our house. Oh, wow. <laughs> Let's keep it right here. <laughs> it looks, it's good here. Share it with everyone. Let's, let's keep it right where it's at. It's good right here. Hi. <laughs> Honey, yeah. I know, I, I get what you're saying though. Yeah, it's lovely. You want to have something that looks like this. Yes, And you, we can absolutely do that. You know, we can do that now. Yeah. Yeah. We got great imaginations, don't we? We do have great imaginations. This is very true. Oh. So how does it look? It's looking good. It's looking really, really good. You're doing a great job. So, oh, look at the sky now. The sky is gorgeous. And there, this is where I would look get the yellow get the oh look at look <laughs> and it start you'll get a line of or, look at the orange it's starting to come together look at the orange in the background i see it and i have to make decisions oh my gosh am i gonna put orange back there should we put orange back there just a little bit sure you know i wanted to use this color uh, it's our brand new and look we're gonna take the top off look the brand new color brand new color Ooh. look at it gorgeous i like it i do too i like it's that color that, it's got that uh, that would be the color i'd want to paint our house creamy look I, yes. yeah a lot of houses are painted this way mm -hmm. definitely or right, not that way with that color that color right i got beautiful you beautiful color yep it's just low in intensity mm -hmm. it's kind of low so we'll see. And I'm going to go ahead and even get it all mixed up in with everything else already right off the bat. So it's either going to go good or not. <laughs> this is part of experimenting. You cannot be afraid to experiment because it can turn out really, really, really good when you experiment. And if you don't like it, then you paint over it. That's the thing I love about color. If you don't like it, you just paint on top of it and start we'll over see. again. What I'll do, I'll tell you what, I'll just get some, since this is my little detail. Uh-huh. Go back to this brush. Mm. Go back to this brush. Mm -hmm. We will, I'll clean it, we'll get this, it'll be all right. Yeah, Paula, we know the camera's going in and out because of, it's because oh, no. of the because of the um, the lighting. We don't have control over that, unfortunately. But thanks for letting us know. That's we noticed that earlier, um, but can't really do a lot about it because of the natural lighting. Yeah, uh, sorry about that. We'll see if we can get in a better uh, location. Yeah, next time we'll we'll make sure. Well, we're going to be going to the Indian Mounds at noon on this coming. Saturday. Paula, you guessed that right. You, you knew exactly where that bridge was. Uh, it's beautiful, beautiful bridge. Again, it, um, it's for train track, so trains go over the bridge and cars go through this pretty narrow tunnel. Um, but it's only one car can go through at a time. Uh, but we're going to be painting that next Saturday. Again, we're going to do that at noon. And reminder, we will be sketching and painting the same day. And we're doing this because the park closes at five o'clock and we want to be respectful of the park and their curfew. So we're going to go at noon next Saturday. Yeah, and I'm just gonna see what this looks like. I think this turned out pretty cool. We don't know until we do it. Yeah, look at that. Look at all the yellow, it's in, yes. What? That looks amazing. And I want the high chroma to show through. It is. Right here. It is. That's amazing. I don't know. Paula says it's looking very beautiful. Thank you, Paula. Now you're muting it? Huh? You're going to mute the color? I don't know. I can't really tell what I want to do with it. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I like not knowing.
kind of gives me a challenge. It's like, oh, I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> you know, I like to, because I like to have a plan. Mm -hmm. And it's good to have a plan when you're doing something like this. Yes, very, very good to have a plan. So actually, you know, I kind of do have a little, uh, somewhat of a plan, mm -hmm. but I don't really go too far with it because I know, I, you know what, I'm going to, I'm going to learn something today because I love to learn stuff mm -hmm. and I like to experiment. I like to take challenges. I like challenges. And you know what, that ice house was a challenge. Mm. You did a great job and with the ice that house. that was, whew, wow. I'll get it. Drop, hold, not dropping things is a challenge. Yeah, I'm not sure why we got the drop seeds today. So this is the unbleached titanium. And here, you know what? I should probably be using my angle shader on mm -hmm. this one, mm -hmm. but we're gonna go, we're gonna do it because we're talking about experimenting today. Yep. And I'm just gonna experiment. And I will use it. Yep. You can hear the kids playing in the background. There are, gosh, I don't know how many playgrounds out here with equipment for the children. There's two that we can see. I'm sure there's plenty of more out here. It's a lot of play space out here. Oh, and there's some new stuff out here that I didn't, I didn't know was out here. Like what? There's a, a like an amphitheater on the other side of the pond. Uh -huh. And that looks like an amazing. You landed right there. Oh, wow. Okay. It looked like it kind of looked like an amazing place where you can do things and have activities, fun stuff. So we're just, I'm just kind of having fun at this point. Mm -hmm. I want to, there's a lot I could do. A lot I could do with it. It's such a beautiful day. Oh, it's man. a beautiful day what is happening mm -hmm. hey let's why don't we do this why don't we get some of the like the grass right there. oh yeah the grass growing in between the cement yes exactly all the details those little details matter paula said can't wait to see it when you're finished oh yeah <laughs> Oh yeah. As I was saying earlier, this is probably one of my favorite paintings, but I say that every week, so. But it's true it, it every is. week. And every day, my you're my favorite person. Yes. Imagine that. You I got, mean, what about tomorrow? You got paint on your tomorrow, face. Tomorrow, you will be my favorite person. So, this painting right now is my favorite because this is the one I'm working on right now. Yep. And I'm looking at how everything, like right here, some things I would say, you could say, are kind of off, but they're not. You got but. paint on you, on your nose. I don't know. <laughs> Green paint on your nose. So He's a mess today. <laughs> I kind of experiment with some things. Right. Look, I want to get this a little bit more. A little bit more in the background. More defined. More like a hill. Mm. Ooh, these mosquitoes are vicious out here today. It is, we have nine minutes. All right, well, we, certainly thank y'all the y'all that watch and that enjoy this <laughs> as much as we do thank y'all so much yeah sure enjoying it really do we'll put some more yellow up here and 
Can you hear the crickets chirping? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I wanted to get over here. Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. I think that might have even been a frog over there. It might have been a frog. I wanted to get this. I wanted to get this right here. And I get up close to it. Because look. Oh, man. So here's the thing about this one. It, I can't, you can't really, it, the curvature of it is so not perceptible. <clears throat> I had to shrink it down. Shrink this thing down. So I really, I really, really want to get all these details, but it's impossible to do that. You need a toothpick or something. So what I'll do is do the, the like, how does this thing, how does it feel to me? What's happening? If I kind of squint at it, <laughs> what? I like it. Squint at it. Well, that's what you have to do. Yeah. That's what, I, you don't have to. <laughs> you don't have to do that. I think you're getting the colors like, right on too. I want to get a little like, oh man, I want to fill it in and make it look finished. But also, I guess I, it's not unlike telling a story because a story you have details, mm -hmm. a painting you have details. Yeah. And if I just tell you that, look, that's a stair rail and that's a stair rail, you already know what that is. It might be able to tell what that is. I really like the texture you're getting on this piece. <laughs> I do. Now I'm squinting, looking at the texture. And no red. There's no red in here anyway. There is no red, you're right. Well, except for the little, the burnt umbers part. Oh, this, yeah, brownish. I'm kind of liking it without the red. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It feels great out here. The wind's blowing. It's nice. It feels really nice. That tree is behind. Hi, Nadia. Thanks for watching us. <laughs> yeah. Yep. We'll be out down here in a few years with artists all over the world. That is the goal. So, you want to tell them your big goal? Oh, yeah. Want to have it? Inter well, you tell me what you think because we believe in dreaming big, big. right? Yes. The bigger, the better. Yes, absolutely. Dream big. So, our big dream is really out there. Yeah. But that's where we want it to be. We want it to be out there. So our big dream is to have an international art show. It's like an art contest, would you say? Yeah, it's almost like because contests and art aren't really co very compatible. True. We're going to kind of try to say it's a game. It's more like games. It's like Olympics. Like the it's Olympics. like a celebration. It's like a celebration of art. Yes. A, uh, that kind of thing where we're not competing to see who's the best. You know, we don't care about that. We don't care who's the best because we just want culture. Right. We're not trying to compete and say, I'm better than you. Right. Because we don't believe that. Right. That I'm better than you or than you're anybody. better than anybody. Exactly. Or anybody's really better than anybody. Just because I can, I mean, I can do this. Yeah. This looks like anybody, anybody can do this. I, I think, it looks like anybody can do this. You feel like that, but. And it's just because it's fun. Yeah. And maybe it's a little bit fun. But there, you know, and it, to have fun. I, w everywhere I go, even when I was doing whatever I was doing, I would try to have fun, Penny. Yep. If I was doing some really hard work, I would mm -hmm. make it fun. Mm -hmm. And I would put insulation. That insulation, I don't know if you know what insulation is. What insulation. You put up uh, pink stuff. In it's the like fiberglass mm -hmm. and it itches mm -hmm. when you get all sweaty. And I would do that for a week. I would put insulation up in attics and roofs and I would make it fun. I would call it cotton candy. <laughs> it does look like cotton candy. And it would make me feel better about having to do all that. Because <laughs> I guess I look at it this way. Somebody's got to do it. That's true. 
That's true. Let me go check our comments. So what I wanted here was a, a big contrast between my whites and dark. The light, the lights and dark right here. So I have this white, um, this white street light. Mm -hmm. And I'll put a big contrast right here. Makes it kind of go poof. Pops. Yep. And then right here where I've got the white, I want, I want that to kind of go like this. We have three minutes. Yay. <laughs> All right, and we love doing this. Oh, and it's fun. And if you want this, it's contact for, me. It's for sale. Because here's what we'll do. I, if you want if you want it just like it is, just like it is, you can buy it just like it is. Mm -hmm. You can buy it just like it is. But if you want more detail, I will take it. I will. What I will do. I will I will take it to the studio and mm -hmm. do more detail right. and make it look amazing and I might do it with this one anyway yeah I love this because I don't want to spend any more time on it than if it it really I'm done with it mm -hmm. I would say but there is some more things that I could do with it mm -hmm. because it, this is considered Plain air, ala prima, if I leave it just like it is right now. And right now, right here, I'll just put that on there. This is... The weather vane? Like, I make it uh, like really, really... Oh, yeah. There like, we go. exaggerated. Yes. Like, holy cow. <laughs> There's no way it could be that, that crazy. Yep, exactly. Anyone have any last minute comments? We are and then we'll put that on there. about out of time. I think we went over a little bit of an hour because we started a little bit early. Did we? Mm hmm. Look, so I wanted to put green back here. That's pretty. And show, just to show, to show you, hey, no, this is, that's the background. That's mm -hmm. in the back and it's green. And there's part of it. And there's part of it. And you can see the back through, mm -hmm. through it like that. Here. So I actually really like this one. Yeah, I like this one a lot too. Because it feels good. It feels good right here. So nice. The wind blowing. Alright, where are we at? Hey. This is pretty nice. This is where I'll add a little bit of white. Paula said the colors are beautiful. A lot of the time, a lot of the time it takes when I'm working on something, a lot of the time, a lot of the time I spend a lot of the time cleaning, cleaning my brush and mm -hmm. changing colors mm -hmm. and mixing the colors and getting the right shade of color. When I'm out here on the fly, just mm -hmm. Man, it's exciting. Mm -hmm. It's so exciting. Mm -hmm. Just to, I'm like, I don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> There's no plan. That's the beauty of it. It's what makes it so exciting. It's what we love, love to do because, ah, man, I just like, I love challenges. Yeah, it's, this is a good challenge for you. And it's fun. Well, we are at 7 o'clock, a little bit after seven or right at seven o'clock oh, yeah. so we are going to close for the evening but thank you to everyone who watched and also as i was saying earlier we do love gifts so here we are using our all the gifts that we've received we are using we do use if you feel like donating to us uh, you can go to our website whitneyartllc.com and you can look us up there as far as our address so you can mail us something uh, paint brushes, paint. Um, Whitney prefers, it's called Master's Touch is the name of the paint that he prefers. Um, what else? Paint brushes, canvases, uh, really anything that's art related. We were happy to, to receive anything like that. So thank you very much again for all who have watched and we will see you on next Saturday at noon. Thank you.